What is going on guys, hope you're doing well. Really quick, wanted to hop on for a few minutes just to talk about Tesla's update to their referral program. So three weeks ago, almost to the day, I received delivery of my 2023 Model Y. And after I read, and you may have already seen, read, heard, the, the latest announcement in which when you use a referral code now to purchase your either Model 3 or your Model Y, you get a $500 discount to the vehicle and you get, and this is what really sweetens the pot, three free months of full self-driving. And so I, my first thought was like, oh, I, I missed the boat by that much. You know, just a few weeks, if I could have waited, could have gotten access to full self-driving beta for three months free. That's a, you know, that's a $600 value in and of itself. And so in total, you get, you know, at least $1,100 value when purchasing a Model Y or a Model 3. And so I, after thinking about it a little bit further, I thought, well, maybe in my case, it isn't too big of a deal because if you have a vehicle like, thankfully I do, with hardware four built into it, it unfortunately doesn't currently have the capability to harness the full self-driving beta. One of two things could be happening in my opinion. One is that we're, not too far away from a software update that will enable hardware for equipped vehicles to harness full self-driving beta. Or two, which I hope is really not the case, that those folks that purchase a Model Y with hardware four on it, for Model three vehicles, not a big deal, they'll still be able to get the full capability of, of FSD beta. But for Model Y hardware four equipped vehicles, I don't wanna say they're screwed, but it kinda sucks in the timing of like, if there isn't a software update around the corner, are people gonna to have to redeem the three months from the get-go when they receive their vehicle, even though hardware for equipped vehicles aren't yet ready to use full self-driving beta? So uh, hopefully that's not the case. I have seen uh, a tweet from, I think it's the Muffin Man, where he purchased a Model X, I believe it is, and he tweeted at Elon saying, hey, it kind of sucks. I mean, I'm paraphrasing obviously, but it kind of sucks that the clock starts ticking as soon as you receive the vehicle, as opposed to you know being able to maybe defer the three months to a later date, like once hardware four is actually capable of running full self-driving beta, things of that sort. And so it, it is kind of a bummer that currently the way Tesla has it set up is that you you pretty much are forced to redeem the three months as, as you re receive your car. And so, that, that definitely kind of sucks. You know, I, I feel like Tesla should really do uh, do their customers a solid and allow them to defer, you know, if it's all three months, you know, in one fell swoop or, you know, if they can just kind of choose a month down the road where, you know, they know they're gonna, gonna go on a road trip or whatever it is that they could use full self-driving for, you know, at least, at least kind of do customers a solid that way. It, it just, I feel like it makes a lot of sense for them to have that sort of flexibility as opposed to just forcing customers to take three months right off the bat, especially if the vehicles with hardware four aren't, aren't yet capable of, of harnessing full self-driving beta yet. So anyway, that's kind of like a little a little venting, a little ranting for, for those folks that would be purchasing a car that can't even really use the, the you know software capabilities that um, you know come free that have an actual dollar value associated with it, but if you can't use it, then, you know, what, what's the point? So anyway, with that said, I think a recommendation would be if you're looking for a Model Y and ideally you would probably want hardware four on it, I would probably recommend just waiting a tad, see what Tesla might come out with as far as like an update where if they probably hear enough noise, enough complaints saying, hey, for those with hardware four, why don't you just allow them to either defer the three months, pick a month, you know, pick the three months that they want to, you know, get get uh, redeem the free FSD beta, like all that good stuff. Um, so maybe just wait a little bit. Um, you know, of course, more power to you. Feel free to do whatever you wish. But my recommendation would be to wait maybe a few weeks to see if Tesla does come out with anything. And if we kind of hear crickets for the next month or two, um, you know, maybe pull the trigger. At least you're you're future proofing your vehicle with full with a uh, hardware four. I'm sorry. Uh, so that would be my recommendation, but you know, of course, you know, feel free to do as you please And then secondly, I just wanted to give an update on upcoming videos So I'm getting pretty darn close to a thousand miles on the model Y uh, It's crazy how fast it's going I mean, I kind of want to always take it out for a spin whether it's with my one and a half year old or my wife or the whole family just 
you know, want, wanting to, you know, enjoy, enjoy the ride. But so I'm coming close to a thousand miles. So I will be making a video on how the first thousand miles have been along with, I've been getting a few questions regarding like what accessories I'm using and how I've kind of been personalizing the Model Y. So I'll, I'll probably give a fairly, hopefully robust list of the items and accessories that I've used from the get-go and that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks for the car. I think it's more for protection and efficiency more so than it is for trying to make the car look badass. I think it already looks badass, but you know, um, there are a couple of things that I did kind of touch the car with that make it look a little bit more badass. But anyway, so I'll have a list from a list of accessories and items that I've gotten for the car so far. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I didn't want to kind of like do it right off the bat because I wanted to use some of the accessories first, uh, experience them, and then see if they're actually worth recommending because there are a couple items that I started using and I didn't really have a great experience with it or the quality was bad or whatever it might be. So I won't be recommending those. So I, I've stopped using those. So as, as I get closer to the thousand miles and I've used accessories that I actually do want to recommend to you. So that way, you know, if you, if you happen to heed any recommendations that I might give, you know, hopefully your hard earned dollars, uh, are, are put to good use if you were to purchase some of these accessories. But Anywho, I, I will be making an update since you know some folks have requested it, so certainly will be more than happy to do so. And then of course, as always, I think I said it in the last couple of videos, but feel free to drop a comment or a question down below. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Uh, you know, it's a very small channel, so I'm, I'm actually able to kind of read through all your comments and questions so and respond. I respond to all of them pretty much. Um, and so feel free, uh, you know, definitely happy to help in any way that I can. And, and uh, yeah, especially, you know, if you're considering purchasing a Model Y, Model 3, it's a, it's a big purchase in life, right? So, um, you know, you kind of want to get uh, all the input you can get, all the different recommendations, different points of view uh, from, from different folks. So if I could just be, you know, one more tidbit that you, you can utilize to kind of help make your decision, you know, I'm more, more than happy to do so. So again, I'm probably beating a dead horse here, but, you know, feel free to drop a comment, question down below. Happy to help out in any way that I can. Otherwise, with that, I'll probably just leave it there. Again, stay tuned for the next video, 1,000 miles on the Model Y, my experience so far, and the accessories that I have gotten so far for the car. So anyway, thanks again. Really appreciate your time. Really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.